Hey there, this is the Barks Root Beer Fun Video. And uh, 11 years ago, before I first taught this course, I was sitting in my office working in the legal department of a large electric company. And I knew I was gonna be teaching for the first time the next day, so I went into the law library to find a case that would be fun for the students to play judge and jury on. And this case, uh, uh, I opened up the law books and this case jumped out at me. Uh, it dates back to 1981. I may or may not be the only person who's listening to this video who was alive and on earth in 1981. Uh, but I'm going to make you Arthur Stewart. You are a gentleman who lives in New Orleans. And the day was March 27th. 1981 here in New Orleans in late March we can get incredibly hot weather and it was a hot day and Arthur was cutting his grass and no matter where you cut grass in the, in the summerish time it can be hot 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 so Arthur was hot as could be he came in from cutting the grass opened up the fridge and back then, in 1981, soft drinks came in uh, glass bottles that were washed and reused tens of thousands of times. And there was a local soft drink company called Barks Root Beer. Now, today it's owned by the Coca-Cola Company, and you can buy Barks Root Beer around the world. But back then, it was a local company. And Arthur opened up the fridge. He saw that wonderful chilled clear 12 ounce bottle of Barks Root Beer, took the cap off the bottle, guzzled half of the bottle in one big gulp and he looked at the bottle and there were the remains of a dead mouse. Yuck. So what did Arthur do? He went to his attorney. He said he drank mouse parts and uh, now there could be an attorney or two out there who behaves in the following manner. Perhaps there's, there's an attorney when author comes to him. He doesn't want author just to stick with his story of he, he drank mouse parts and he's really disgusted by it. He encourages him to think of how maybe he slipped and fell on the kitchen floor or maybe he might recall having a fit or maybe he might recall being so dehydrated he'd have to go to the hospital. And certainly, uh, this attorney may send him to a friend of his who's a doctor who will find all of these things wrong with Arthur. Now, that should never happen, but I'm telling you that perhaps once or twice in the past, things like this have happened. So, Arthur sued Barks. And of course, if you are the owner of Barks, you have to decide, well, what really happened? Do I have such bad quality control that a mouse got into my root beer bottle? Or maybe, maybe Mr. Stewart put the mouse in the bottle himself and is just trying to get some money out of the court. So. If you know nothing else about the case but this, you as the judge or jury, do you think Arthur got money? Do you think Barks Root Beer didn't have to pay any money? Well, the answer is that back there in 1981, Arthur did get money. He got, let me find this, this number here for you. Uh, He got $2,865 for drinking half of a mouse. Now, of course, that's 1981. Today, you couldn't even give a tip to the bailiff in the courtroom for $2,865. But, and then, on top of that, both Arthur's attorney and Bark's attorney appealed the case for the same reason. They both thought the amount of damages was wrong. Barks thought it was too high and Arthur thought it was too low. So interesting how things have changed since uh, 1981. All right.
that's the Barks Root Beer case. I look forward to teaching you guys this semester.